Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see seven plus new and useful Telegram Messenger tips and tricks. I have also published a video a couple of months ago uh, showing you eight plus Telegram Messenger application tips and tricks. Don't forget to check that out. I'll leave a link in the comment as well as in the description. If you are new to Telegram Messenger, then you will find both these episodes very useful. And if you're looking for something alternative to the regular WhatsApp application, something more private and something feature rich then you should definitely try the telegram messenger i am a big fan of telegram application and i regularly use it in my iphone to reach out to my friends and i have groups over there which is more useful than the whatsapp so the first feature that we are going to see today is especially for groups where the protected content feature is announced just few weeks before in order to access that you have to be the group administrator or you can send this video to the group administrator to access and, and enable that feature when you navigate to the group options there you can see restrict saving content will be visible at the bottom of the privacy section forwarding messages like texts photos or videos that are shared within a particular private group will totally stay private you cannot copy save and forward the contents from this particular group if it is enabled to any other group or to any other individual contact for example you can see if I want to forward this gif uh, you can I can simply long press and I'll see the share menu options and at the bottom I will not be seeing the option to forward or share or copy so simply it will display the copyright notice copying and forwarding is not allowed in this group so this is definitely one of the useful privacy feature but what if someone takes a screenshot then it won't be useful so this is kind of an okay feature it is not 100% effective but for a private group then this feature can be enabled in instructing and making others to understand that the privacy of this group and the content is very important and the second important feature is delete by date if you want to delete bunch of texts or uh, messages or videos uh, in order to clean up uh, your text messages uh, sent within the group then you can simply tap on that particular uh, date or month displayed over there and you will see the entire calendar sheets with the interactions that happened within that particular group so you can simply tap on any dates and you can navigate all the messages it will take you directly to the uh, date uh, and the all the messages that are sent on that particular date by the group members you can simply long press it you can select and delete a bunch of messages at the same time this will definitely be very handy and useful if you want to clean up some unwanted messages sudden flooding of messages happens in some group and the third one is now they allow you to terminate login session if you use multiple uh, setup like computer and iPad in order to log in your telegram account to multiple device normally they have this terminate all other sessions uh, switch which you can press on your iPhone and you can uh, log out from all the other devices and here you can see I have logged in uh, on my telegram application on my iMac and in my iPhone below that I can see if I'm inactive for one week or one month or three months or six months I can automatically sign out all the sessions I can terminate all the other sessions uh, that is active on other computer other than my iPhone so this is definitely a very handy and uh, useful privacy related feature you can enable it the week one week feature is kind of uh, you know an important one I believe which everyone should enable uh, in order to you know log out from terminate all the other sessions that are active in other devices uh, that you are not aware of and the next feature is you can now comment as channel or group name like you don't have to use your personal ID uh, in public groups that you have joined in so you can simply switch to your group name or channel name and then you can uh, comment whatever you want like maybe for brands I think this could be a useful feature to reply to someone in the public groups as the brand account so I think this is kind of a useful feature and the next feature is emoji effects so sharing emojis is always fun in telegram messenger application and now it is more fun as you can see once you shared an emoji simply tap on that emoji to see a uh, screen filled effects it's kind of you know a feature that we have seen in iMessage application where it is more interactive uh, than any other chat application so now telegram has got that similar animation effects to the emoji so it is kind of interesting and I love it to individual contacts or to a group conversation you can simply share that emoji and you can use uh, that feature and the next one is reactions whenever you long press any text messages or images or videos or reactions you can now like, dislike, 
you can give a heart and you can celebrate it and you can select from various reactions that is readily available telegram team is also updating it frequently uh, adding couple more uh, you know uh, reactions recently uh, with a recent update and i believe it will be constantly improved so if you like some message simply double tap that particular uh, message to like a message this is another important uh, feature that i personally love it you know after the facebook we kind of in a group conversation prefer to like or you know down vote or dislike a particular comment which will be more interactive to spice up a conversation so i believe this is one of my favorite feature that they have released recently and the next one is translate now the telegram application uh, brings translate feature but not independently like it is going to work with the ios translate feature so here you can see the translate icon itself shows the translate application that is uh, available in the ios system so you need to have the translate application installed from app store in order to make it work so here you can see if you have selected any supported languages unfortunately translate application in ios doesn't support plenty of languages so there are some limitations but still it is there you may use it if you want to use it if the language that you need is available and the next interesting feature is spoiler alert something you know again once again coming from the imessage they now have the spoiler alert feature you can select portion of the text and now tap on the selected message once and from the context menu select the format menu option the format button the bold italicize and underline option there you can see as the first option the spoiler is there if you select spoiler nothing will be changed over here but when you send the message you will see that i message kind of that spoiler effect is appeared there so whoever wants to read that message they simply have to tap it and for few seconds they can read the message and then it will again go to the spoiler so if you are in a movie uh, group or any person you know kind of a review discussion sort of book reviews or any other telegram related, related groups then this spoiler alert feature will definitely save you from getting scolded by you know so many other users who haven't watched that movie or read that book or you know watched that tv episode i believe these telegram app tips will definitely be useful to you and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more iphone ipad and mac related tips and tricks and i'll also leave a link for eight plus more telegram application tips and tricks in the comments and in the description don't forget to check that out too thanks for watching and have a wonderful day